Praise the Lord, dear friend, Thomas Manton IV. Uh, the Lord spoke to me a, a very powerful word about healing. And I want to bring it to you right now. Let me start in uh, Micah 7, verse 8. It says, The enemy cannot rejoice over me. And the decree was, Do not even try to rejoice over me, enemy. When I, hard to read this, it, well, let me just say the positive. I will arise, and the Lord will be a light to me. So the enemy, three points, the enemy cannot rejoice over me, over you. Can't. You will arise, we arise. And when you sit in whatever situation you're in, doesn't matter. The Lord will be a light to you and to me. I like scripture for principles, you know, because you could read the whole context of the whole Micah chapter here. It's really bad. Everyone was in a mess. But that's not what I'm seeing. I'm seeing these principles. Enemy cannot rejoice. Not permissible. I will arise. You will arise. Wherever I'm at, doesn't matter. The Lord will be a light to me. Do you see the hope in that? There's a realm of healing and manifestation that can bring you into greatness, a great life. No matter what is going on around you. Be encouraged by this because this is thus saith the Lord right here. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. <laughs> Matthew 8, 17 said Jesus uh, healed everybody. 1 Peter 2, 24, by his stripes we were healed. Isaiah 53, by his stripes we are healed. How else could I say? Jeremiah 33, 6, I'll bring healing and cure, not just even to you, but to a whole society, to a whole city. Imagine that. We have the victory, folks, not the devil. We are the ones that have the victory, not the evil forces. So what does the scripture say? The kingdom of God is what? Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. So no matter what's going on in the world, our victory is, uh, is secure. There's a lot of... There's a lot of... Um, how could I say? Distractions in life. All kinds of uh, situations going around and you have to rise above that. You know, when you're feeling good, you're in a good focus, a good flow. And all of a sudden there's something else that you have to deal with and fix. So what? Somebody else is doing something else. Well, it's their problem. You can't make it your problem. You could, you could be in the midst of anything and be victorious. Listen to God's prophet here. You could be in the midst of anywhere, anything, any situation, anyone, and be victorious in the situation because you're strong in God and you and him are a majority, not a minority. So the victory is ours. Dominion is ours. We need to have a takeover mentality. Wherever I am, I own it. Wherever I am, I am what I am that I need to be. Moses said to God, who's sending me? Who, who, what is the genre of your manifestation? Whom I'm representing, who I'm going in the name of. God said, I am that I am. Here's the thing. Whatever you say I am in front of, it is that. If you say you are, I notice, you notice I'm not going to say I am. I can't say I am to certain things. If you say you are sick, you're sad... You're troubled, you're uh, in lack and need, and you're sad, emotional, and that C word that I hate, you know, meaning you're mixed up. You know, I hate that word. I, I tell all my staff and all of our team and our people, uh, that word is not in our vocabulary. You could be a lot of things, but you never should be that, you know, that C word, meaning mixed up and spun around, you know, like... The cartoons, birds flying around your head making noises, and you're like, ooh, you don't know what you're doing. 
Stop it. You know when you know what you're doing. You're intelligent and brilliant, and God is with you. Hey, you you have the victory. You're not that C word. C O N F U S E D. That's the word. In case you didn't get it yet. We don't use that word around here. Take it out of your vocabulary. I correct people if they keep saying I say, "Ah, don't say that." Because we're not that. You may be in the midst of a few things that you're dealing with or whatever, but you're never that because you know what you're doing. Here's another few messages that I don't need. I don't need to, to hear the message about that I'm saved because I'm saved. I've been saved for a long time. Those kind of scriptures don't, you know, beloved, I'm in Christ kind of scriptures, Ephesians and all that. That's for people coming into the faith. That's not for a seasoned man or a seasoned woman who knows who they are. Another message and, but they're good, but you, you understand what I'm saying? But that's to build a person's life in God. Um, it's not like for a seasoned person, like, you know, the thing about, you know, all those scriptures from the epistles that Paul did. That was to build the church. That's when people get saved. They come in to learn all of that. When you've learned all that, you know it already. Amen. I made my point. Now, another message that I kind of teaching that it did, I never even consider the thing about don't quit. What else are you going to do if God's called you? If you know his hand is upon you and you know he's wanted to give the victory and he's given you promises and he has a mission for you to accomplish and achieve, what else are you going to do? There's no plan B, uh, son or daughter, Jack or Jill. There's no plan B. There's no plan C. What else are you going to do? So quitting is not an option. I've never even thought of it one time um, all these years. Quit to do what? I love what I do. I love what God's called me to do. What else am I going to do? Are you kidding me? So uh, I was in the gym this morning, or earlier today and uh, many hours ago. And I was, and I was just, uh, well, I try to fix this. It doesn't help. Let me just leave it alone. The, uh, I was in the gym and uh, I was on this machine and these words came to me. I spoke healing over all of the uh, of uh, seven systems of the body. The body has the endocrine system the lymphatic system maybe there's more than seven the muscular system the skeletal system the reproductive system the digestive system the circulatory system that's seven maybe there's more you know all of those functions of the body and every organ every function of the body and i just said hey i speak total healing by the fire of god over my body completely in every single possible attribute of this I take healing in Jesus name I take it in Jesus name I am healed I am whole in every area of the body so quickly I speak that over you right now in all the systems of your body all of your organs and reproductive I don't know if I said that one that might be an eighth one or one of the seven the lymphatic, the endocrine, the circulatory, the digestive, the reproductive, the muscular, the skeletal, the circulatory. All of the systems of the physical body, I command them into normality and wholeness for you. So you have pain in your joints, that's bones, that's the skeletal. You have pain in your muscles somewhere, that's muscular tightness, or mess, you're messed up somewhere. That's it. The skin functions on uh, also the things move, the water and the circulation moves through. Your circulation needs to be good. Your blood pressure, your blood sugar, your heart, your lungs, your liver, your pancreas, your kidneys, hello. Your stomach and inte small intestine, large intestine, your, all your reproductive parts of your body. All of those parts in that part of the body, you know, all, those, all of those things that work together. And your, your movement and your brain, okay, your mind and your, also your mood and your emotions. All of it, I speak healing in Jesus' name. By the power of God right now, receive it right now. Father, thank you for the touch of heaven. It's coming forth. The Lord spoke, I had this from, from heaven. You know, when I hear from heaven and I speak it, God is in it right there. That's going to happen for you right now. It's going to happen for you because God spoke it. Not because I'm, you know, coming to do a teaching and to speak things that I'm feeling. But when it comes in the Holy Ghost like that, the inside, and I speak it out. I did it earlier today. I'm doing it again. And I just did it. And I'm saying over you, you are healed in Jesus' name. Completely healed and whole, my precious friend.
you are in Jesus' name. I pray for your healing, divine health, divine wealth. Then that's another subject, but that's part of it. Third John 2 said, Beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper, being healthy, even as your soul prospers. I pray, wish, and desire that you prosper financially, materially, and be in good health physically as your soul prospers emotionally and your mind and your intellect and your will and your so and that includes the heart and the, the mind and the life and everything to do with your life hey it's blessed because god is with you so there again in micah 7 verse 8 i love it three things the enemy can't do anything uh no matter what situation you're in you're good and the lord will be the a light to you that's the promise of God. That's his will. Um, I was thinking about this also. Whenever anybody asked Jesus to heal them, 40 times, 4-0, four, 4-0, zero, four, zero, 40 times in the New Testament, in the Gospels, people had asked Jesus to heal them. There was a presentation made to Jesus for the person to be healed, somebody to be healed. He never said no. He only said that great two words, I will. Lord, if it be your will, you can make me clean. You can make me whole. You can make me healed. You can make me well, Jesus. <laughs> he said, I will. And that is his will. So be healed in Jesus' name. Acts 10.38 said, He went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil. First John somewhere 4. First John 4, 9, is it? Or somewhere in there? I can't remember the exact address of the verse, but you'll find it if you look there. In First John, I think it's the fourth chapter of first, the Epistle of John. Not the Gospel of John, the Epistle of John, a small book. First John 4, something. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he may destroy the works of the devil. He's doing that. Jesus is still doing that. He's doing it right now. He's, he's been doing it. He'll always do it. Hebrews 13, 8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Another one. The, the, the power of the Spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you and will also raise you and resurrect you, the Holy Spirit himself. Father, I thank you for the grace of heaven. Be of good cheer, Jesus said in John 16, 33. For I have overcome the world. Though you have tribulation, I've overcome and I'm making you the overcomer too because of that. And also John 10.10. 10. That's the one I was trying to get to a minute ago. John 10.10. 10. The thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. We see him doing that. But I have come that you may have life and that more abundantly. So that is the will of the Father. That you have life and life more abundantly. And that is the will of God and the will of God for you and for me, my friend. I have the e-books, The Laws of Success. And the benefits of excellence, you could tell me which one you want to our partners. Please do so a special seed right now. For this that I've spoken, say, God, I'm, I'm giving you an offering. Uh, not that I'm buy, I can't buy anything, but I'm, I want to sow a seed for a harvest in the realm of prosperity and healing and breakthrough and victory. I want you to touch me, Holy Spirit. I want to honor you. I want to worship you with a love gift to the world mission of Thomas Manton IV, and you can do that. The uh, addresses will be in the heading and in the comments, and you can do that, become a partner. Sow your best, do your best, do something right now, and I'm going to be praying this harvest of breakthrough and healing fire over you in Jesus' name. Love you much. I'm praying for you. Be healed, be blessed, be made whole in Jesus' name, and I'm looking to hear from you. See you on the very next broadcast. Love you much.